Hi, I'm Frank. I'm a mountain bike at heart. Or am I? Fun fact about me is that I was made by hand in the USA. Specifically born out of the damp forests and cozy coffee shops of the Pacific Northwest. My composition from conception is unknown. What I do know is I am made up of many parts scattered by the winds of time. Hence, my name, Frank, short for Frankenstein. My limbs are just as confusing as my origin. I have road drop bars for arms with a one by bar end shifter, Durace. Durace, by the way. Mountain bike flat pedals with spikes sharp enough to pierce anyone who walks too close. Although I am mostly pieced together with random parts, there are some things I can't change, like my Richie drop sockets, dropouts, and my steel tubing. I may look short, but I'm a grower, not a shower. Just look at the wide range in my rear cassette, made possible with a bit of creativity due to a wolf tooth road link paired with a good old XTR derailleur. We all have things in life that we regret. Maybe yours is accidentally joining a cult or forgetting to stock your bathroom with that extra roll of toilet paper when you're on the last ply. Personally, I have regrets about a particular tattoo that my previous owner adhered to me. Now, I won't name names, but you know who you are. My chain ring might look skewed to you, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Why, yes, it's an oblong chain ring by Absolute Black. Thank you for noticing. You might think it creates a stutter in my step, but I'm as smooth as butter, helping my rider make each stroke more efficient. Nubby human legs suck at pedaling circles, but ovals? Not too shabby humans. You know what they say about big feet, and my shoe size is 26. And to top it off, I've got a set of comfy Paneracer tires. Akin to a kangaroo pouch, in case I get hungry, I keep snacks in my lion bar bag. Somehow I always end up carrying the weight. It must just be my brute frame. Cats are said to have nine lives, but I think Franks have even more. Recently, I had to undergo surgery to replace one of my limbs. The rim brake was shot, causing me to skid on the smoothest of roads while braking downhill. An extremely stressful experience for my rider, but pretty amusing for me. The procedure to fix my wheel was not as daunting as one might think. A little light anesthesia and some lube, and I was as good as new. If I had to describe myself in one word, it would be versatile. A quality often sought after these days, yet hard to achieve. I find myself adept to urban writing, hilly writing, and even gravel writing. All these other fancy bikes that cost an arm and a leg have nothing on the ingenuity, eccentricity, and sheer novelty that I bring to the table. The total number of my previous owners is unknown, but I've been passed around quite a bit. I like to say that I'm a nomadic type of bike, going wherever the wind blows me. I did get a chance to revisit my birthplace, the Pacific Northwest, where I was broken down and entirely rebuilt. I traveled for free in a super cozy bag. Shout out to Post. I have a feeling that I was a night owl in a previous life, but Lately, I've been enjoying being an early bird, catching worms, waking up to the sunrise, and leaning against cafe murals for athletic yet artsy staged photo shoots. As a romantic at heart, I love long rides on the beach and catching a sunset over the Bay Bridge.
Thanks for watching this video and learning a little bit about me. As Curtis says, pump that like button, leave a comment below about your biggest regret in life, and stay frank. Okay, okay. Stay nonchalant.